Hey, Brandon Lewis here from Embedded Computing Design, and we are at Embedded World 2020, and I'm here with Jason Kridner, who is a founder and board member at BeagleBoard.org. How you doing? Doing great. That's awesome. Um, and you know what's even more awesome is that right behind us, we've been chatting and reviewing BeagleBoard AI, which was uh, BeagleBone AI, which was re which was uh, released earlier this year, and it's got some wicked horsepower. Um, what can you tell us about the board before we look into uh, your demo? Um, well, um, it does have wicked horsepower, and a lot of it is um, in the form of low latency, right? right. So you know, a lot of think about performance. Um, people kind of think of the the sprint, right? The, mm -hmm. What's your absolute throughput type of stuff? And where we're really outstanding is in the low latency and like fast response side of things. Right. Yeah. I mean, you have programmable real-time units on there that would be awesome for that. You've also got uh, ARM Cortex-M cores. Um, you've got applications class cores from ARM. Right. Um, you've got uh, DSPs. You've got uh, vision engines. I mean, you, you really got everything that you would need uh, to build out a really well-rounded application. Right. If it has AI or not, but just in this case, yeah. It, it, yeah, even if you leave the AI <laughs> right. stuff, this is just a really great horse, high horsepower compute mm -hmm. solution for any type of embedded application. Mm -hmm. um, you've got, for general purpose compute, you've got two Cortex A15s that are three issue superscalar. So if most of your code is probably sitting at 32 bit single threaded, mm -hmm. and you really can't beat the performance right. um, for the uh, for those for that type of code, because mm -hmm. um, most of your code is really going to be in that category. Mm -hmm. um, and um, you've got two of those at 1.5 gigahertz. Um, and you know you could clock them down, run nice and cool. Don't ship with a fan, right? So you, you're, you're able to actually clock it down to, to maybe get it down to 500 megahertz and, and just run an entire system, you know, under four watts, mm -hmm. right? Whereas if you want to kind of crank everything up all the way, and you've got your two floating point C6 DSPs on there, um, the embedded vision engines. There's there's four of those Cortex M4s mm -hmm. on there. Um, if you want to do some some real time control tasks on there, mm -hmm. um, plus if you want the the ultimate in low latency, um, it's that the PureU ICSS, right? Mm -hmm. The the industrial control subsystems where you can create all the the protocol layers, right? Do kind of create your own peripherals and software. Right. It's kind of cool. That's awesome. Well, let's take a look. Uh, can you explain what's going on back here? See yeah. it in action. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the BeagleBone AI and we're running the TIDL um, deep learning um, software, so it allows you to do offload uh, of uh, neural networking tasks. And right? real, quick, real quick before you continue, yeah. um, you can access that, if you have a BeagleBone AI, you can access that TI deep learning software. Correct? Absolutely, so it ships, so the BeagleBone AI ships with 16 gigabytes of flash that's pre-programmed with the Debian Linux distribution on it, mm -hmm. um, that includes all the tools you need for developing on all these different cores, right? So you don't have to go download an SDK to go try something out. It's already installed on the boards, ready to go. So it's Debian Linux, you boot it up. If you want to, you can run a desktop, or you can just point your web browser to the board and an IDE comes up right there. That's and the sweet. IDE is loaded with tutorials um, for different things that you can run on on the main cores or on the other cores. Mm -hmm. um, so the like the the deep learning um, code, the libraries are already there. So the OpenCL compiler um, that you need um, is integrated. The libraries for doing the the inference engines with right. the, the TIDL is already there, mm -hmm. um, including a few examples. Um, and we've got it integrated with um, MJPEG Streamer. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's just right. so many things yeah, thrown just, in, but, yeah. but it makes for a nice experience, because all you do have to do is, is point your web browser to the board, and the examples are there, and you can start peeling back the layers of the onion. Um, but with, with MJPEG Streamer, that allows us to not have to do the keyboard, monitor, and mouse, as you do with some like single board computers where you, like, you're really treating them like a desktop computer, but you know you don't want a desktop computer. Like you're, right. We're trying to make embedded systems. We want to put something in a cabinet and, 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 and lock it away, but still be able to program it and, and customize it. Right. So we start users right away over a web interface. Mm -hmm. um, you get to the Linux command prompt, um, you get to a, a text editor, you click the run button, it uses the OpenCL compiler to to build the, the code for the, the ARM and the DSPs, mm -hmm. um, and gives you an example that actually streams the data, the live video, if you're using video data, right. um, so that you can, you can monitor. So this is actually, in this example, the BeagleBone AI is um, also running 
the, the browser, right? So this is HDMI output from uh, the BeagleBone AI, and it's running the web browser and, and writing the, the, the output, right? So as we put um, an image in front of it, um, you can see it's, it's using the, the OpenCV to, to capture MJPEG streamer to stream it across um, the network and then the browser to actually render the display. Mm -hmm. um, so this could just as easily be on another computer on the network. Right. Um, and then we're using ROS at this moment to try to send the, the commands back to the robot. So this is so, a so, ImageNet so. trained classification, um, classification demo. So we're doing uh, um, fruit, fruit, is it fruit or dog? And we've got the, the good pile and the, and the bad pile over here. So the, the fruit's gonna go over to the bad pile. So good dog, bad fruit. <laughs> good dog, bad fruit. We, we need too much fruit anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you so much, Jason. This is some really awesome stuff. I'm, I'm excited to see what uh, you continue to do over at BeagleBoard.org um, because you're really putting a lot of technology into the hands of, of anybody really who's anybody. Interested, yeah, interested in learning. Um, if you'd like to find out more, um, you can visit uh, BeagleBoard at BeagleBoard.org, or you can stop by here in Hall 3A, can't miss them. There are robots running around, uh, there are robots petting dogs, you know, juicing, <laughs> juicing dogs, so uh, please stop by. Thanks for watching. Thank you.